So this is a similar skill, uh, but here we've got two different functions and we want to find a compounded version of the two. So in this example, we have f of x, which is equal to 2x minus 3, and we have g of x, which is equal to x plus 1. And we want to find f g of x. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we've got to look at the order. So uh, we're doing f g of x rather than g f of x. And what this means is that we're passing the function g of x into the function f of x. So the way we're going to uh, write this out is we're going to start out by writing f of x again. So we've got 2x minus 3. But now we're going to rub out this x and replace it with the whole function g of x. So that's x plus 1. So here we're passing the function g of x into the function f of x. And now we just have to expand out these brackets. So 2x, uh, so 2 times x plus 1 gives us 2x plus 2. And we've got the minus 3 on the end. So this is going to be 2x minus 1. So we can rewrite this as f g of x, so f sorry, is equal to 2x minus 1. Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on functions. So this is the second video on the topic. If you've not had a chance to watch the first one, then I recommend you watch that first. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at inverse functions in this video. So let's just remind ourselves, first of all, that a function uh, we can write as f of x. So that's a letter f. Uh, and this takes inputs and it produces outputs. But if we have the inverse function, so an inverse function, we write this as f to the power minus 1 of x. And this takes the original outputs and uh, gives back the inputs. So there's a specific method that we need to use in order to work out the inverse function uh, when we're given the function in its original form. So in this example, it says that given that f of x is equal to x plus 8 over 3, find f to the minus 1 of x. So the first thing we're going to do is looking at f of x, we're going to set this equal to y. So y is equal to x plus 8 over 3. Now when we do the inverse function, which is f to the minus 1 of x, all we're going to do is replace the y with the x and the x with the y. Uh, so our formula is going to be x equals y plus 8 over 3. And now we just rearrange this and solve for y. So uh, we've got 3x, first of all, is equal to y plus 8. So all I've done is multiplied up the 3 there. Uh, and then we're going to subtract the 8 from both sides and it's going to give us y is equal to 3x minus 8. So this is our inverse function now, and we just get rid of the y, and we can write f to the minus 1 of x uh, is equal to 3x minus 8. So this particular method works for any function. All you do is uh, set the function f of x equal to y, and then swap the y and the x around, and rearrange for y to get the inverse function. If you want to practice some harder functions questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types in there as well, and you'll receive instant feedback on each and every one of them. It's a good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong, and what you need to do in order to improve in time for your actual exam. So if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.